Tonight, a memorial is up at the site where a bus went off the road and flipped over, killing eight people, leaving dozens hurt. Well, she was Haley Crumble home spoke with a man who says he started it for the families who lost their loved ones. In the time we've been here, people have left flowers and donations, and the man that built this said he even put in a bench so that families that come here can stay a while. Crosses with the names of victims now covered the Ocala field where a bus crashed Tuesday, but not long before the grass was empty. No sign of the loss that had happened here. I was actually begging nobody around except one lady with a with a kid that I was dropping some flowers. Roberto Marquez, who doesn't have a connection to the crash, came to build a memorial and a place for many to place their flowers, flags and candles. I think it's, it's, it's good enough so that if a relative to our brothers that passed away would come. I think they all see that, that we care and then that, that we did the best we could. He says he hasn't met any family members of those killed yet, but it's been just a few days since the devastation that happened here, sending first responders descending on this field. Body camera video released Thursday shows some of the first moments after they arrived. There's probably still at least 10 to 12, if not more people still trapped inside. By the EMS, they're going to need multiple units here. David Thomas, a professor of forensic studies with decades of law enforcement experience, says the crash is sure to take a toll on those who responded to it. It's huge. So from a psychological standpoint. And for investigators, there will now be many months of piecing together what happened. Basically, they're going to reconstruct this, this crash. And so it takes time in order to be able to do that and do it correctly and then take those facts and present them to the state attorney's office. We now know the driver accused of side swiping the bus. Brian Howard has been convicted at least 17 times of traffic related offenses. But attorney David Haas says that prior history may not play a role in Howard's trial. Where those become more relevant will be at sentencing if he is convicted of, of you know, in, in any of the deaths. Um, you know, there's limitations on what prior convictions uh, or, you know, can be used in trial. And if Howard were to be convicted, he's looking at an incredible amount of time you know, in prison. In Marion County, Haley Crumble Home, West 2 News.